Welcome to the LED shader tutorial demo. Um, this is Jason Gorski and uh, I'm just going to show you what's going on here. You can see it's in real time, moving around, things like that. Um, just to show you that it's in real time. Here I'm just zooming in the, the pixel region so that you can see the first step of the billboard is to create these, these large pixel averages. It's a 9x9 nine nine kernel sampling of uh, pixel regions and then just average it out. Here in the billboard 2, uh, we introduce circle, uh, a circular shape to those pixel regions and you can increase and decrease the size of that circle. You can also increase or decrease the sharpness of those circles. And this produces very different looking LED displays. Um, as I'm, I'm going to try to demonstrate here, I'm going to zoom out and uh, make the pixel regions smaller and, and, and mess with them a little bit here. So I'm blurring and sharpening the circles a little bit. Um, here, really, really sharp edges to the circles and kind of look a little jarring. And then now I'm smoothing them out a little bit. Uh, you can see how different it looks. Now in, in Billboard 3 we introduced uh, color discretization and, and what this is is that uh, you reduce the amount of colors that are allowed to show through. So the, original, the colors that you saw on the previous billboard are simply thrown into a bin uh, and, and so the, res the result is, is how many bins are you allowing, how many bins of color, how many different shades of color. So when it's really, really low, when you have lots of large bins of color, then you get something like this where, you know, you don't see much. And then if, as you increase the bins, you get closer and closer to the actual gradients of color that you see in the original picture. Um, the other thing we introduced, I introduced, was this uh, darkening and lightening effect because we noticed that when when we introduce the smoothing and sharpening of the circles that sometimes if the circles are too blurry the LED display can get can get really dark so we introduced a simple I introduced a simple way to just increase the brightness and decrease the brightness of the colors <clears throat> so you can see it getting darker and now I'm just going to reset the variables here and, and we're going to move on to um, billboard number four which has everything from before, of course, that we're building off here. The first thing I'm going to show you here is a color intensifier uh, that, that I introduced. And basically what this does is if the color is predominantly red, it intensifies the red. If it's predominantly green, it intensifies the green. Predominantly blue, it intensifies the blue. The reason for this is just um, because lots of LEDs are RGB in nature, and depending on how good the lights are, you can get sort of this like intensifying effect. Um, the other thing we introduced are LED, uh, burnt out LEDs, and so you can increase the number of those, they're random, but you can increase how many are burnt out, um, sort of the percentage of burnt out LEDs. Now I'm just going to show you a couple textures with the shader applied. This is using the same variables that we already um, set up in the previous steps, so just gives you an idea of what it looks like um, on different, different sorts of pictures look like. This is just alternating between two different pictures, and it just gives you a nice little blinking effect. <clears throat> now I'm going to show you a couple presets that I made. So I set up the variables um, specifically to, to achieve a certain effect. This is a daytime LED shader, and as you can see, the, the screen is a lot darker, because in the daytime it's harder to see LEDs. And then I made a nighttime sh shader preset where it's a lot brighter, because when your eyes are adjusted to the nighttime, it looks a lot brighter. So thanks for listening.